What is going on everybody? I hope you're having an exceptional day today. It's a lovely day here in Hiroshima, Japan. And today, I'm gonna be taking you guys inside of a uh, big camera right there, this general region here. And, uh, oh, I'm dark. Meter, meter, center meter. Here we go. So basically, it is uh, like five stories of electronics and home goods and all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of fun stuff in there. So. I'm gonna take you guys through and uh, we're gonna take a look at it. And the lens I have on here right now is a little bit fish-eyed. I know, it's a new lens. It is a uh, nine millimeter F8. My only Olympus lens that I've ever bought and it's keeping me real, real dark right now. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna head on in. We're gonna start at the top and work our way down. Hopefully we don't get kicked out for filming. We shall see. So I'm on the I'm on the new lens I just bought and there's no stabilization so I'm gonna do my best not to shake the living crap out of it. Um, the only other lens I brought was a 25 mil and I don't think that would be conducive to it, such a small area. So I just wanted to, you know, have some fun. I'll show you guys what's around here. So this is just like this is like every goofy cable. They've got 200 mil fans up there. I've never even seen those in Micro Center. But yeah, just like every single cable computer part you could ever want, except for GPUs. The only GPUs present are the 1660 Supers, the GT1030s. That's a GT710 for some reason. Uh, and then they get these 6700 XTs for $1,000. Lots of motherboards. Um, decently high-end ones too. And then we've got our processor stack, of course. And SSDs and RAM. So you can very easily build a computer just uh, from stuff that's already here, but Check out the pricing on this. So that's a 5800X. I paid 400 bucks for mine. It's almost 700 here. Ah, oh, the 5900X is 830. This is crazy, dude. So most of their stock is actually 3000 series. Um, yeah, three, four, 500 bucks. $570 for a 3800XT, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And I've got a bunch of GT710s up top. It genuinely doesn't even matter where you are in the world. Supply sucks. Supply sucks right now. And prices are insane for just like everything though, which is crazy. Sigh, maybe it'll get better one day. We'll see. It's like all the things, sound cards, hard drive adapters, fans. Look at this, got Motherboard power switches, they got standoffs. All of the standoffs. Let's see. So also here they've got a, um, like a refurb shop. So they've got MacBooks, iPads, uh, iPhones, a bunch of, bunch of other laptops, watches, headphones. And the thing that uh, piqued my interest and is very dangerous for me, so they've got a bunch of lenses and that that is the lens that I wanted for a couple years now and it's about $400 cheaper used than it was new and that's about the price I can get on eBay and that's a dangerous thing for me to see <laughs> because oh my god do I want that lens this is the one this is the lens that matches my um, 12 to 60 um, Leica Elmerit that I love, 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 love so much. So I'm gonna keep that in the, in the back of my mind. It's just gonna keep bugging me and bugging me. I had the opportunity to buy that lens for 950 last year and I didn't. And I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. But yeah, they got they got all sorts of stuff. It's gonna take me a while to get used to the manual uh, focus on this. So I apologize if everything is out of focus because a lot of it's going to be. Check this out. Bunch of uh, speakers, headphones, ooh, my, uh, DAX that I'm gonna take a look at in a second here. All the audio equipment you could ever want. And then musical instruments and yeah, this just got all the things, it's pretty cool. Um, but check out these tube amps. Like this guy right here. That 
is fantastic. It is also $2,500. So this is not the one I'll be getting. <laughs> so I've been here a few times now and this is the first time that I've actually noticed how insanely huge the actual like audio area is. So we've got this wall with my, my audio technicus on it. This is the best wall. And we've got like earbuds and, and sport over the ear things and then row on row on row on row and then more over there of headphones. <laughs> So if you like headphones, this is the place to be. This is crazy. And they've got obviously like extra parts and everything for them too. This is, this is pretty darn nifty. Easily spend all of my money forever here. There's my M50s and my M40s. I haven't seen my MSR7s, but you know, look at this monster. This, this is a beautiful, oh no, there they are. There's my MR7s. This is a great aisle, man. More. And uh, earbuds, anyone? Uh, more earbuds. Pricey spicy boys. All ATs, too. Very nice. So I have, what do I have? I have the, no, those are the 900s. I have the 700s. I have a lot of Audio Technica headphones, though. And I could have paid way more for them if I bought them here. 120 bucks, those are my first ATs right there. It's a good set. Now I'd say the gaming area is about comparable to like Best Buy back home. All the, all the computers and headsets, there's more headsets than anywhere I've ever been though. Um, but they got, it's actually really nice. Got a good selection of um, mechanical keyboards and all sorts of mice and stuff. What's uh, what I noticed though, is it, it's not just geared towards gamers. There's like, like, yeah, Best Buy, you go in there for a computer and it's all, it's just that little area with all the just gaming computers and stuff. But here it's like, there's the gaming area of the computer area, but then the rest of it is just all consumer PC stuff, parts and everything, so. It's kind of like a Micro Center meets a Best Buy. Or a Micro Center meets a Micro Center, I don't know, but they've got more than Micro Center ever did. I know everywhere has a TV section and this one's not particularly bigger than anything else it's just that all the TVs are huge and there's more of an 8k like a, an 8k lean than a 4k lean and over here is the largest TV well not the largest TV but the most expensive TV I've ever seen it's $14,000 <laughs> that is an 85 inch um, 8K display. Madness. $14,000. Let's go up another floor. I forgot. Yeah, since this is, uh, this is an everything store, this is all like the light bulbs and cookers and stuff, and I'm going to leave immediately because I'm not interested in any of it right now. So this entire floor is all phones, tables, cases, every cell phone thing that one could desire. It's an entire floor of it. Which is pretty darn freaking cool. And I'm gonna get a very, very expensive cable. It's a three meter, three amp USB-C. <laughs> it's 25 bucks. I don't normally pay that much for uh, cables, but Man, once you go to a 10-foot cable for your phone, you'll never ever look back. Never, as I look back. Lels. The cool thing is that they can fit all of this in very, very easily. Um, they can fit it all into a very small area because it's like the bottom three or four or five stories, something like that, of a uh, much larger building above me. Two stories of it are below ground that go into the underground mall here. Uh, that's where we're actually headed right now, but they can have a store that's twice the size of uh, you know any Best Buy or Micro Center, and they can keep it super uh, super small footprint from the outside. So it's when you walk in here. <laughs> this is just the uh, specifically the camera area, and there are 
There's every lens that you could ever desire. That's why I just bought this lens. And here is, where is it? Yeah, see, it's 500 bucks cheaper downstairs. I'm so tempted right now. Check these uh, Noctons out. Those are all f.95. But not only do they have like every camera, every lens for every camera, I mean they've got some weird like Sigmas. You ever seen that before? I never seen those before. I never seen those before. Um, but so not only do they have like all the lenses for all the cameras um, and all the accessories there, you know, that you would expect. They've got some stuff that's like exclusive to the Japanese market, obviously. So there's a bunch of stuff in here I haven't even seen. It's like a whole drone area. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. The irony that the only store that actually uh, had beef with me filming was the camera store <laughs> is not passing me by. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's the big camera and I guess big camera etc. It's one of the three biggest um, big box chains here in Japan and uh, this store is amazing. It's great. The bottom floor here, the one I didn't get to show you, it's like a convenience store. They just sell like liquor and food because that's what you want in an electronics store. A little bit of everything. Anyway guys, I hope that was somewhat interesting to you. And uh, I'm happy because I got a new lens and a bunch of new little uh, little toys here. And I'm going to go uh, wander around Hiroshima for a while. So, all of you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.